Baby. 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 Oh my goodness. Baby. 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 Amanda. Amanda. It was a good thing you brought her the time you did. Okay. So, so what's up? We found some poisonous substance in her blood. Which shows that she got tempted suicide. Suicide? Yes. How? Uh, how did she come about that? I, 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 doc, can, can I see that? Sure, easy man. Sure. Okay. Sure. My sweetheart. Baby. Oh my god. Thank goodness you are weak. Baby. How? You just want to leave me in this cold world? All alone? How could you have thought of taking your own life? Baby, why? Why? Eric. Tell me, what am I living for? What is the essence of my life? Six good years. No child of my own. Not even a miscarriage. All oh, the doctors keep saying, nothing is wrong with both of you. You know what? I can't continue living like this. The insults, the pain, the humiliation. I can't go on like this. It's too much. You know what? I just wanted to end it all. Baby. Just want to rest. Baby. Just want to rest. You're not ending anything, okay? You are not. I have not, and I'm never given up on us. I know. You can't do that. You can't take your own life. I am hopeful, and I believe we will have our own child in God's appropriate time. Please, let's keep believing. Let's not give up. We surely have our own child. Thank you. I am tired. Okay. I am so tired. Come I can't on, do this. Stop. I can't. Come sit down. You have not touched your food. And I noticed you've been like this since you got back from school. What's the problem? Mom. Yes, darling. Am I really a bastard? Hmm? No. No, baby, you're not a bastard. And what will make you think of something like that? I keep asking this and you keep telling me the same answer. Mom, what am I supposed to know? What are you not telling me? Then why do my friends keep calling me a bastard who doesn't have a father? Come see. You are not a bastard, right? Your father died. Yes, he died. And you're not a bastard. Why don't you believe me? Why don't you listen to your mom? Whatever these people are saying, they just, they're telling you this thing because they don't know the truth. You know what, mom? What? 
I'm not eating again. I don't have the appetite. Come see. Come see. She easily understands things and read meanings with them. Look, yes. I think it's high time you told her the truth. Truth about what? Babes! What is it? Are you okay? Obviously, you don't know what you're saying. You expect me to tell my little girl at this age that type of thing? No, now, babes. No, 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 please. Don't, don't, don't even go there. Don't go there. Okay, look. Let's look at it this way. This poor child will continue to pressurize you. And she might even suffer emotionally, which it would even affect her academically. Is that what you want from her? Chidima, please, just, just stop it. It doesn't even make sense right now what you're saying. Do you realize the gravity of what you expect me to tell that little girl at this age? Babes! You were there now. You saw everything. You saw what happened. You... How can you say this? Please say something else. It doesn't even make sense to me. Please. Well, babe, that's my opinion. But even if you won't buy to it, I think it's time you pay the school a visit and issue a stern warning to the proprietress. Because this nonsense has to stop. And we even told the kid who a bastard is. Now you're saying what I want to hear. Oh, Auntie, please, could you help me with my homework? Come see, set them down. Look, I think your mom should be. No, there. Auntie, it's you and your homework. Suicide? Has it gotten to that? What could have led her into such sacrilegious act? Hmm. Honestly, I don't know, Mom. I was able to come out here because she's feeling better. Mom, please. Anything you have to do to salvage the situation, please do. I can't stop. Honestly, I'm restless. I can't stop thinking about the event of the past. I have a strong feeling all these things are related. Mm. Eric, don't even go there. It has nothing to do with the past. Ah. As for your family situation, I'll figure something out. I'll figure it out. Don't worry. See, go and eat your food before it gets cold. You look like you've not eaten for, for some days now. Jane, hmm? put your mind at rest. Everything will be fine. Oh? Amanda, Amanda, I am surprised and somehow disappointed. What are you even thinking? Oh, you think if you die today, children will creep from nowhere? I didn't believe you would go this extent. Rita, you don't understand. You are not the one in this show. You don't know the hurt and humiliation I go through every day. People look at me disgusted. I'm not even talking of the things they say when I pass. <laughs> See? It should be better I end it all. Please don't say that. Look at you. Happily married with Kate. And me, not even a miscarriage. Talk of having children. All I hear every day, yeah, you are medically okay, and this, and yet nothing to show for it. Ami, remember I waited two years, two good years before I had my first child. You have yours too. 
You just have to make things easy on yourself. Killing yourself will only make things worse. Come to think of it. Have you thought of the hurt people will face if anything ever happened to you? Have you even thought of what you will be facing on the other side? Rita. At least let me have miscarriage. Oh. Look at my house. Neatly arranged. No children to run or scatter the whole place. See, whatever it will be, I'm sure it will be better than the other side. Than this hell I'm living. Amanda, stop it. You need to stop all of this. You are only hurting yourself. If you don't mind, you can meet with my pastor. He's a very powerful man of God. He may have a solution to your problem. See, if your pastor will bring a solution to my problem, if we can bring the cries of children in this house, I'm ready. I'm ready to do anything, I anything. Know, I know, I know. I know, oh. Look at you. See how unkept you are. It's okay, you'll be fine. Okay, come on. Father, we thank you for your daughters. Father, we thank you for every proclamation shall be established in their lives. Father, we thank you that as long as they have come to your house, Lord, you will not leave them behind. You will answer them. Oh, yes, Lord. Oh, thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. Hmm. Your name is Chimamanda Uzoma. You have come here over that which burdens your soul, which is childlessness. Can I ask you a question? Why do you want to kill yourself? over something that is not your fault? Relax, my child. It is not what you think. Apart from being a mouthpiece of God, I'm also a numerologist. The Holy Bible tells me that though weeping may endure for a night, but joy surely comes in the morning. I bring good news for you that the days of your affliction are over. It is a new dawn for you. I'm the first to say congratulations. Enter your new morning in Jesus' name. Um, so, Daddy, will she conceive now? But something has to be done and done fast. What is it, Pastor? I'm ready to do anything, sir. Anything. He that brings in an ant infested firewood must first take it out. Else, the lizard will never get away. Come back with your husband. He is the cause of everything. And it's time he made it right. Pastor. I can assure you, you are medically okay. Even doctors confirm that. And my husband is not fetish. He is not. Chimamanda Uzoma. The universe is deeper than diabolism, religiosity, and medicine. She is also very protective and vindictive. You'll be so amazed at the cause of your predicament. Put your mind at rest. Okay? It is your season. Shall we pray? Father, we thank you for the entrance of your word brings forth light and understanding. Mm -hmm. Father, I thank you because you are the most high Jehovah. Mm -hmm. Father,
You're ready? Yeah. I wish you safe journey, huh? Thank you, Mom. You know I enjoy each time I spend with you, right? But it always urgent, so I need to run to it. I understand, son. Take good care of yourself and run along, okay? It's all right. My regards to her. Thank you, Mom. Okay? All right. Mm -hmm. oh. Take care. Hi, baby. <laughs> Good evening. Welcome. How are you doing? Hi, baby. How is your mom? Hope she's good. Baby, why sounding like this? What sort of cold reception is this? Are you all right? What's eating you up? Do I look like something is eating me up? Or do you want to add to the problem you've already created? Problem I have already created? I don't understand. What are you talking about? Amanda. What was it you said out there? I don't understand. What are you talking about? I need to see a man of God to me. He said you are the one that fetched the ant infested firewood. That means you are because of our childlessness. Oh. Eric, what did you do? So your desperation has pushed you into walking around the whole city, visiting fake prophets and fake prayer houses, right? And you think that's where your solution will come from? It's not a prayer house. It's Rita's church. The man is filled with power of God and my spirit accepts him. I see. Your quest for a child made you forget how dubious and deceitful all those men of God can be. Listen, those fake men of God will push you into hating your loved ones and they will this make... It's not fake. He said you should come with me. At least you should go and hear him out. I'm going nowhere with you. Read my lips. I will do no such thing. I won't allow my fellow man to deceive me into believing what is not real. And I advise you, do not step your foot into that fake prayer house anymore. Alright? I see you're trying to defend me. I am not defending myself, but I'm telling you what it is. Because you know you are guilty. I did not do anything. I am not guilty of anything. Henry, what did you do? I did nothing. Stay away from all those prophets of doom. Nonsense. Uh, you're going with me whether you like it or not.
Wait. Oh. What's wrong with you? Give it to me. What is it? What do I need for? It's better I end it once and for all. It's better I join my ancestors. Baby. What do you want to do? Why are you trying so hard to leave me all alone in this cold world? Why are you doing this to me? Haven't I been all alone? Tell me, who do I have? Come you? on, baby. Come on, stop it. Stop it, baby. You have me. I'm going to be with you here till the end of time. Liar. Liar. You only love yourself. You don't even care if I'm suffering or dying. Will you just... You don't even care if people call me barren. It's like you enjoy seeing me in pain. Come on. Why are you saying all those things? Why? Tell me. Why have you refused to seek solutions with me? Why have you refused to see the pastor with me? Haven't you realized that our problem is beyond medicals? Haven't you? It's better I end it once and for all. Because I don't know what I'm living for. You are ending nothing. You are living for everything good. Sweetheart. If going with you to the pastor's prayer house will make you happy, and make things all right, I am in. We go tomorrow. For real? Yes. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Karmic death? Yes. It is a repeated pattern in one's life that comes as a result of unresolved issues. Pastor, I'm lost here. I don't get Brother Eric, you know, everything we do in life has a way of getting back at us, be it positive or negative. Most vicissitudes and turbulence are camped death. I don't understand, Pastor. What do you mean? What are you talking about? I mean, you are the master of your own fate. Yes, the reason for your childlessness. What? Past. Brother Eric, don't pretend you don't know what I'm talking about. What are you talking about? How can I possibly be my own problem? I mean... You still doubt that? I'm sure your mind must be breaking you by now. How? Eric. Yes?
the sooner you think about it. Probably the absolution. The earlier the peace of God will turn to you. And the face of God will shine upon you and your family. Pastor, what is it that happened? Please, can someone tell me what is going on here? It is not in my place to tell you that, my daughter. Your husband should do the needful. Yes, he slept to me now. Eric. You still haven't said anything. What is it you're not telling me, Eric? I'm your wife. Excuse me. Eric. Eric, you can't ignore me. Eric! What? You mean that witch is behind all this? All right, Eric, don't worry. I'll figure something out. Okay? Calm down, don't worry. Okay. Bye. Babes. For Babo. Do you know this is my first time of hearing that? Does that mean everyone owns this debt? Yes. But what I don't understand is why Eric's own is affecting me. Maybe because you're his wife? Maybe because you're married to him. Because if you're married to someone else, it would have solved the puzzle. But then, where's the love you profess? I don't really understand this. This is so hard to believe. What are we going to do now? Hmm. I think I know exactly what to do.
you say if you had listened to me in the first place. You would have been going through this mess. But there is no need crying over spilled milk. Do you understand? I am your friend and I will stand by you. But I need you to tell you why every single thing about this. Do something for once without your mother's consent. Mm. Honestly, this is something so hard on me. I never knew it would turn out this way. If there's one thing that life has taught me is that for every action, no matter how little, has its own consequences. For every nefarious act, I try to defeat that consequence. But this is not the end of the world, you know. Let us go on and hide whatever come has got to do with this so that you can live your life free. Let's go. Let's go. Baby, what are you doing? Hello, baby, can you hear me out? It hasn't gotten to this, all right? Baby, please. Please, I beg you. Since you cannot understand what I'm doing, I'm leaving you everything. I'm leaving you and whatever karmic debt you have to pay. Um, baby, please, I beg you. It hasn't gotten to this, all right? Please don't leave me. I beg you, please. Eric, what crime did I commit by giving you everything? I gave you my heart, my body, my time, everything. And what did I get in return? Wickedness? Misery? You watch me every day, lamenting about our childlessness. I did everything I can to conceive. All you do is sit down there, you watch me, assuring me everything will be all right. And now, it turns out that your past is responsible for our predicament. Wow. The worst is that you would even tell me anything or even seek solutions with me. So tell me, what am I doing here? Tell me. You know what? I don't want to do this anymore. Peggy. Peggy. Please. Don't leave me. Thank you. Where did I find you? Tell me. What else do you want from me? What else do you want from me? You want me to stay here and keep wasting my time in this house? Baby. Eric. Just understand. I don't want to hear anything from you. Not anymore. I'm done doing this. Baby, please. Just stay away from me. Please don't. Tell you everything you need to know. All right. Yes. <sighs> you gave me your virginity. What? I love you so much. I will never stop loving you. I can't wait to make you my wife. Oh. 
and I love you too. I thought we should start with this. Um, my mom can't wait to have a time about today. Oh. Mm hmm. Okay. Thanks. <laughs> Okay, mom. <laughs> uh, my mom is home. Yes. Ah. <laughs> um, she's a bit bossy, you know. So. Um, this is more the study love of my life. Uh, of course, I've told you a lot of uh, <laughs> uh, and Modesta. This is my lovely mom. Okay, let's go. Yes. Yes. Thank you, mom. <laughs> ah. Mom, we have good news. Mm. So, what's the good news about? Modesta is pregnant. She's carrying your grandchild. <laughs> really? Yes, mom. <laughs> okay. um, where are you from? Um, I'm from Mouse State. Where did you say you're from? Imo State. Imo State. You're not welcome here. You have to leave. Mom, what is it? Yes, you have to leave. Why would you say such a thing? She has done nothing. Really? You're still here. Leave now. Mom, leave. Modest. Mom, this is not right. What's all this now? What's all this? Mom, what is it now? Why do you have to embarrass my girl like that? It's not fair now. I don't like it. Really? So, she has not moved in. She's taught you how to talk back at me already. Hmm? A mother who single-handedly raised you. We're not talking about that now. Mom, what you did is not right. I don't like it. Well? I don't like it at all. Well, you are not going to marry that girl. Not while I am still alive. Mom! She's pregnant for me! So? You, you don't care? Really? Over my dead body will that happen? <laughs> you will never marry that girl. Over your dead body? Modesta is pregnant for me. How will you feel if someone else does that to your daughter? Eric, I don't care. How are you even sure that pregnancy belongs to you? Yes, I know them more than you do. Some of them would use all this as excuse to tie a man down. Not Modesta. Not my own Modesta. I met that girl a virgin. I deflowered her, mom. Still boils down to the same thing. You are not going to marry her. Mom, I am going to marry Modesta with or without your consent, and that's on you. How dare you talk to me like that? Have you gone insane?
Now leave my presence. Or else I will do more. I will marry Modesto whether you like it or not. Eric! Alright. We shall see. Baby. Baby. Mm -hmm. I want to tell you something. Okay. What? Honestly, I don't know how to. I, I don't know how to say this. But I have tried so hard. I have battled enough. So, so, so. But I can't do anything about it. What do you mean? I... I can't see future in our relationship anymore. I... I'm sorry if it's going to cause you pains. But please... Understand me. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, Eric, Eric. <laughs> what are you drunk? What are you saying? Cost me pain. I don't understand. I am not drunk. The thing is, my mother doesn't want to see us anymore. You know, I. You know, she practically orders my steps. I don't want to go against that wish. I can't continue with this relationship. Let's just go our separate ways and move on with our lives. Please, bear with me. There we go. Eric, do you realize what you're saying? You deflowered me, Eric. You were the first man I ever slept with. And now I'm pregnant, carrying your own flesh and blood. Where do you want me to go to? What? I don't want... Eric. Is this the love that you promised me? Is this the, the heaven on earth that you promised me? You, 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 you promised to be there for me. You promised to be there for me through thick and thin. What is going on? What did I do? Oh. What happens to this, 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 this child that you put in me? What happens to it? Very good, please. Please don't do this, please. Please, I beg you. I beg you, my really, God, please, Eric, please. Um, babe, I, I don't want to go against my mother's wish. Please, I beg you. Let's just end it. I'm no longer interested in this relationship anymore. Okay? Where do I go, Eric? She's very close. Eric! Eric, please don't do this. Eric, please don't do this. Oh, oh, 
Eric, Eric. You're very wicked. You're very insensitive. You're heartless. I mean, have you considered the trauma that young lady is going through? Huh? What about that, your seed that is growing, growing inside of her? Who is going to take care of that child? Huh? Man, you are wicked. So wicked. Oh. So, it's um, always, always about your mom. Your mom said this. Your mom said that. So, it doesn't bother you that somebody is hurt. So, because your mom feels something about something, then it means it's right, right? Come on, man. Eric, you're not the only one that was raised by a mother, right? Grow up, man, and have some balls and make, make a decision for once for yourself. Ray, you're supposed to be my friend. You know the whole story. Why are you talking to me like this? I'm supposed to be your friend. Yes, I am your friend. That's why I'm telling you the truth. I am not a psychopath. Right? Come on, man. This is so terribly wrong. And I am your friend, I will tell you the truth. If you have done the right thing, I would tell you that, man, you is the man, you have done the right thing. But on this, no, 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 no. You are totally wrong. And let me tell you something. Forget about how you think or feel about what your mom is going to say. If I were you, I will go back to Modesta and apologize. Man, really grow some balls for once and be a man. Go and apologize to Modesta and stop being wicked. Ray, stop talking to me like that. Come on. What's wrong with you? Eh? Now, just these two bottles you take, they shack you anyhow, you talk anyhow. I beg. Man, the truth is bitter. But that's what's I beg more to go, I beg. I beg, go drop me, I beg. I must. What? Abortion. Well, don't even, don't even, don't, don't, no, don't mention that to me. What are you saying? Hold on, look. I want you to think about it this way, okay? No mom, no dad. Are you not even buoyant enough to cater for yourself? Talk more of catering for another person. Okay. A portion. <sighs> Do you, you don't know what you're talking about. You don't know the repercussions involved. Eric is the man, he's the only man I know. He's the only man I've been with. I'm not a whore. Listen, I am not going to have an abortion. I know it will hurt. But I would make sure I give birth to my child and take care of my child in the ways that I can. I cannot even think of it. That is not even possible. Don't, don't, don't talk know. about that. Well, I can see your mind is made up already. I was only showing concern as a friend. Considering your capacity and the circumstances surrounding you. Look, babe, I suggest aborting the child is the best thing to do now. Or do you want someone who will perpetually remind you of your ugly moments? There is no child of mine who will remind me of anything evil. Ah. I will give birth to a child that will bring me happiness and joy. And like you said, my mind is made up. I am not even changing it. And I don't want to hear about this. I don't want to have this conversation again, please. Okay, fine. I think it's time I take you out for soon. Better. Isn't this some sort of Nollywood drama? You ate the soured grape and my teeth is set at edge. You kept a girl in this bondage called marriage for six good years, suffering for what she knows nothing about. Tell me, isn't this some height of wickedness? The same wickedness you melted out on a poor girl. <sighs> hey, it was never my intentions. It's hers. And you, Mama, you've concealed all this from me. 
you convinced me to marry your son. What kind of a mother are you? I, I know you all were blaming for what happened. But I do not regret my actions. I did what I did to protect my son from future calamities. <laughs> really? Future calamities, you say? Tell me. What other calamities was than what we are living in, Mama? Tell me! I'll take care of that little bitch. She cannot stop you from having your own child. Don't, don't worry. Oh, will you stop it, Mama? Stop it already. We we're already in deep shit trying to, trying to find a way out and... Mama, please don't make things worse. Please, I beg you. Oh, God. Oh, why? Baby. Why me, God? Why? Baby. Don't touch me. Don't. Don't you dare touch me! Baby. Oh. Please, I'm sorry. Oh. Baby. and seek for forgiveness. Uh, no. You will not find that witch. No way. Mom, stop it. Please stop it. Please. This is my life we're talking about. You should be more concerned about my welfare, not worsening issues for me. I'll find her. I'll ask old friends about her and see how I can go with it. I have searched on social media no way to do so. I know it's going to be tough. But I'm hopeful. I'm hopeful I'll still be. So, babe, how are you holding up? <laughs> Not been easy. Pastor Chris says he should find her. Apologize and obtain her forgiveness. I hope she's married. What do you mean? You think Eric will bring her into this house? Not just her. With the baby, boy or kid. God forbid. Uh. Not while I'm here. I will leave this house for them. Well, this life is not fair, shall we? So where's your husband now? He has gone in search of her. I pray he finds her. Mm. Um, this food is so nice though. Ah, you're not even eating. Eat. Eat food now. That's not my problem. You did what? After all the talks and everything, what is actually wrong with you, babe? Tell me, what do I need to do to make you understand that the fool and the ingrates you are putting your life on hold for has moved on years ago? And he's probably somewhere enjoying his life with another woman. How long will you continue to deny yourself of the happiness you deserve? See, babes, I don't know what happened. I don't know what's wrong with me. I think I need help. Yes, I need help. 
I'm like, you sure do. It is obvious this has gone out of ordinary. See, honestly, the plan was for me to say yes, so I wanted to say yes. But I don't know what happened. Everything just changed. And... <laughs> okay, look. You can go back to him and say yes. Tell him you have a rethink. Tell him whatever. Just cook up something and tell him. No, I'm not going to do that. Why? <laughs> I can't do that. Look, if it means me dragging you to Tony's house and tying you to the pillar in his house, this time around, trust me, I will do it. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm good though, just there. Okay, what happened? You saw Eric. Yeah. Okay. Honestly, these few days have been hectic. I mean, look at how I look. Going from one place to the other. I mm. can actually imagine what uh, what the Israelis went through on foot for those 40 days and 40 nights, man. We are 21st century Israelites. <laughs> this is a serious matter and you're making jokes of it. Well, you want to yourself. Well, my serious is not a soft problem, I beg. Oh, thank you, right? Um, we should find somewhere and cool up a bit. Oh, you can talk now. Good boy. Hey. Good day, Pastor. Good afternoon, my child. How are you doing today? Bless God. What exactly is the problem? Something is eating you up. What is it? You see, Daddy, I, I feel so insecure and confused. I fear that my husband will bring that woman and her child home if he finds her. Relax your mind, my child. There is nothing to worry about. Okay? I want you to undergo a three-day fasting and prayer. For the Bible says in Philippians chapter 4 verse 6 that we should not worry about anything. Rather, in all things, we should make it known unto our God, our Lord through prayer and supplication. Thank you so much, Pastor. You know, you just removed a huge weight off my chest. Thank you. Relax. Everything God is going to do for you, you just let him lead the way. For you know, what this God cannot fix does not exist. All things are going to align in place. Things will work out together for your good. Let us pray. 
Father, I just want to thank you. That heartless beast. I wonder what is up to this time around. And I don't know why wicked people stay long without reaping the fruit of their labor. Anyway, God will surely pay him back in his own coin. Oh, dear. Eric made me go through a lot. Like I went through a whole lot because of him. I had insomnia for several months because of this man. And the worst part of all of this is it doesn't even know if I aborted that child or I birthed it. Child. He doesn't. But it's fine. I know my God is going to visit him in his own coin. Sure. I'm, he's already going through it. I'm very sure of that. <laughs> Karma has everyone's address. So God will pay him back. I feel like struggling in the moment I saw him. No, it's fine. Vengeance is of God. It's okay. I just thank God I wasn't the one that saw him. Because I don't know how how they reacted. <laughs> I don't ever want to see that guy again. Not in this life. I don't ugh. Well, I hope you don't as well. Hey Blue, I have to get going, okay? Before you start missing. Uh -huh. This is married. <laughs> you need to start going, yes. Mm -hmm. And please don't forget to send us the, um, the, the pictures for the photo shoot so we know what to do and how to plan. Yes. All right, darling. Yeah, I'm not going to see you at home. I don't have that strength. Mm. Lazy part. Thank you. I'm very keen. Please, good night. <laughs> All right, baby. Take care of yourself. Yeah. Bye. What's up? Sorry, Joe. I just got your call. I was trying to do some breakdown for an interior decoration I'm supposed to do. What's up? Hmm. Oh. oh, okay. So I know I'll know you come. All right then. Bye. Hey, Ruth. You're done with your homework. Hey, Ruth. What's that? What's the name of that? Is that his name? Whose name? What's Mom, that? please answer me! <laughs> hey. What is wrong? What, where did you get that from? Oh! So you have been eavesdropping on our conversations, have you? Why don't you treat me and call him a beast? Come here. Yes, that was your father's name. You know I love you, right? You know that. And I care about you so much. I, I care about your happiness a lot. I, I don't know. There are so many things that, no matter how hard I try to tell you, you will never understand. But I promise that I will do it at the right time. Okay? 
all I need you to do for me right now is just keep making me proud in your academics and everything will be fine. Remember the only way to pay them back is to become successful. Hmm? I just want you to be happy. Would you do that for me? Are you sure? <laughs> Madam, what's up now? This one where we say this guy didn't follow me for back. Even if I too. stop, you can stop. I've been a wrong comment. I don't understand. Okay, I better focus and mind your business. But baby, it's the truth now. He's been following us. I noticed it. Are you serious? Yes. I don't get strength. If I don't come, it's my just drop it now. Okay, what's your problem now? Just focus and drive. Okay, driver, just find a way to distract him. Okay, you can enter here. Make you not follow me, or I will come up for my Okay, I better concentrate and drive. Let's go. I'm scared of worried.
What do you want? Yes, we're listening. Honestly, I don't know where and how to start apologizing to you, Modesto. I have wronged you. I am not worthy to be here before you saying a word. I was vile. I was Naive and immature. I can't pay you for the whole damage I have caused this The sleepless nights. The stress and all. Please. I am here to ask for forgiveness. I am human. I have heard. Oh, please, forgive me. I'm sorry for everything. Please. <laughs> please. Indeed, you've realized your mistakes. After how many years? The sleepless night and all, right? What if she had died as a result of the hurt and depression you caused her? Would you be here today shedding those crocodile tears and asking for forgiveness of which I know is nowhere from your heart? Calm down, Bikono. I know you are angry and you have every right to be. But please, let's not approach this thing with anger and bitterness and, and annoyance and everything. I mean, let's just find a way to settle this and make it play, please. Mm. Very modesta. I know that he has wronged you. He admits that. But please, just forgive and, and, and forget. We have been looking for you for, for, for days now. Because he is deeply, deeply sorry. Please, forgive and forget. Please. Please. <laughs> Forgive him. Just like that. <laughs> Let me ask you a question, Mr. Raymond, right? Yes, Raymond Okoro, yes. Oh. If a man walks up to your sister and makes her lose the decency that she has kept for years, deceives her into thinking that he's the man for her, lures her into losing her virginity, Get her pregnant and abandons her. And then he comes back after six years. Would you pet him on the back and be happy for what he did? Answer me. Oh, no, I guess. Please, I beg you. Forgive. I don't have anything to say. I have no excuses. Please, I beg you. I'm sorry for everything. Just, just, just forgive me, please. Please. <laughs> Eric, why did you come here? Tell me. In all honesty, 
I have been married for six years. No child. Not even a news of miscarriage in my house. I was told you by God. Please. I am here to ask for forgiveness. Forgive me, I believe my problem is gone. Please. Please. Please, I beg you. I knew it. Eric, I knew there was a reason. So you're trying to tell me that if you hadn't had this predicament, like if Karma hadn't given you a bite, you wouldn't have bothered to look for me, nor your daughter. Both of you, get out of my house now! Get out of my house now! Get out! Okay. Just. Just. Can you get your skull? Just leave. Just want to talk to you. Haven't you done enough? Best of me. Can you guys just leave? From the depth of my heart, forgive me, Mother. I beg you. Please. Look, just go. Where did he go? Now talk to Ross now, eh? I saw her. And? She... She sent us out of the house. I knew this was not going to be easy. She did that? Why? You see what I have been talking? That's girl. She's not a good girl. I'm talking about her. He, he won't be listening. What you can do? Touch me with your hand, oh Lord, don't allow me to go the way I came. Touch me with your hand, oh Lord, don't allow me to go the way I came. Father, touch me with your hand, oh Lord. Father, I just want to thank you this evening for your love. I want to thank you for my life. I want to thank you for my child's life. I want to thank you for everything that you have done for us. We want to thank you for the guidance and protection. We want to thank you for your divine favor. We want to thank you for your love. We want to thank you, mighty Jesus, for everything that you have done. Thank you because you're yesterday, today, and forever. Thank you because you're the ancient of days, yet you're new every morning. Thank you, mighty Father, because without you, there will be no us. Thank you, mighty Father, for the love you have shown us. Father, we give you all the glory. We 
We worship you. We thank you, Jesus, for everything you've done. But I've just come to say thank you. Thank you and thank you and thank you and thank you for your grace. Thank you for your power. Thank you for your love. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus, for everything that you do. Thank you for your love. Thank you, Jesus, for your... <gasps> Jesus, the blood of Jesus, Holy Ghost fire, every evil spirit around this environment, every evil spirit going around, but by the power of the living God, Holy Ghost fire, Holy Ghost fire, you have no place here, whatever you are, whoever sent you, by the power of the living God, I consume you, I send the fire of the Holy Spirit to begin to destroy you in the name of Jesus. Say, Eric, man, you need to calm down. Do you understand? I mean, you don't expect her running to your arms and saying, like, hey, baby, I'm home. Come get me. I mean, it's not done like that. Emotions are on the line here. You hurt that woman and deeply at that. I mean, I'm even surprised the way she even gave us audience. I don't know how I would have reacted if I were to be in her shoes. I understand. I totally understand. But at least... She should, you know, give me listening ears and understand, you know, know what I've been, the weight of what I've been going through because of her. That is the more reason why you need to go back there. You are the one that is in need, man. Remember, this woman is hurting and you need to pacify her. See, if I were you, I'm going to go back there and pacify this lady and this time be as calm as possible meanwhile why don't you go there with your mom i mean she could help to pacify her go there with my mom yes have you forgotten the genesis of everything i mean why are you talking like this going there with my mom will ruin the whole thing it won't work <laughs> Eric, you can never know with these women. They know how to get one another. You understand? Babes, this is not the first or second time this thing is happening. I saw her last night in my dream, trying to hurt my child. Are you sure? Yes. Look, my dear. I know how much this woman hates you, okay? And how she's capable of doing anything. But look, being a witch? Hell no. I doubt. Everyone around here know how churchy she can be. A whole woman leader. In church. Have a babe. I think you're seeing those dreams because of how mean she has been to you. Trust me. Really? Yes. No. Listen, I felt her presence when I was trying to pray last night. I felt it. Someone was, was in my room. I knew. Uh, no, no, no. Not this one. Look, I think your mind is playing games with you. Yes. It happens to me too sometimes. 
when I'm praying in the middle of the night. Okay? Well, look, whatever it is, whoever he is that is trying to hurt you and come see, trust me, they will never succeed. So, babe, look. Amen. Cheer up. Hey, uh -huh, Felicia, what are you doing about that lady and her daughter? Don't forget time is no longer on your side. The earlier, the better. Huh. My dear, what have I not done? Each time I try to strike, there's this giant creature that stands in my way. Are you serious? <laughs> does Ezewa know about this? Yes, yeah, she does. So what did she say? <laughs> she said it's my fight. And I have to fight it and win it. Else. You meet your untimely death, right? Huh. Of course you know. Oh. Leslie, I don't know what to do. Please, let's go back and meet them. A place in my heart. Eric, do you even have a heart? You left a pregnant young girl for six good years. You knew my financial capacity. You didn't care. For one day, you couldn't call me to even know how I was doing. You didn't even know if I, if I aborted the child or birthed her. You didn't know if I, if I ate or drank water with my child. I went through a lot. I was humiliated, rejected, and frustrated. Everyone left me. My family left me, my friends. Everyone left me. You didn't care to even find out how I was doing. What was my crime? Because I opened up myself to you, because I loved you. I expected love in return. What did you give to me? Eric, tell me why karma would not catch up with you. I suffered, and yet you left me and got married to another woman. I'm sure you didn't tell her about your evil past. Eric, and then you come back after six years to tell me to find a place in my heart to forgive you. Eric, you met me whole and yet you shattered me and walked away. Did you leave any heart with me? I ask you, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to do, Eric. Eric, you dealt with me. I don't have a heart. I have no justifiable reasons for my action. 
No excuses. I should have stood with you. I should have done better. I have made irreparable mistake. There is nothing I do or say that will ever justify my action. There is nothing I do or say that can make damages the stress and pains I've caused you. Please, Monster, from a broken heart, I ask for forgiveness. If not for anything, please, for the sake of my innocent way. Please. Thank you. That's awesome. Oh, really? Yes, the other If you go to your room, then I'll see you soon. Oh, daughter. Point of correction, Eric. My daughter. Eric! Go into your room. Uh, go inside. Okay, mom. Well. She looks just like mm. Hmm. You know what? I I think you're overstating work. I I need you to leave. Come on, Modesta. I love this broken man to at least spend some time with his daughter. <laughs> Eric, shut the door behind you. Please. Please leave. Please leave. Please leave. So, um, you saw what happened today, and you saw the man that came here. <laughs> At least now you know your father. So, what do you think about it? Okay. I don't want him. I want to be a killer. Wow. But can't see you've been the one disturbing yes. everyone. Mom. I know. But I changed my mind. He never cared about me. I did it the most when I was much tender. But he never showed up. So, Mom, I want you to raise me with your baby, please. And I promise to be a superhero. Hmm. My mother. <laughs> My pride. 
कम हो गई थी लाइक सम पीपल डू दे सीम टू टेक टेम्पररी डिफीट एज डिफीट एंड गिव अप जस्ट वेन सक्सेस इज विद इन रिच यू हैव कम टू फॉर जस्ट टू गिव अप ब्रदर एरिक डोंट गिव अप कीप द फेथ Fast I tried all I could. But to no avail. She's had the mind. And she doesn't have an atom of compassion for my predicament. You will go and see her tomorrow. Hmm? I suggest you go there with your wife and your mother. Whatever you see from that journey. becomes your fate okay thank you pastor the pastor said i should go with both of you to modesta's house to ask for forgiveness he thinks that way she will understand and accept <laughs> You know, exactly my thought. I already suggested that to Mama, but she didn't say anything. Mom, did you hear me? We are going to Modesta's house tomorrow. I will not go to that witch's house, let alone beg her. <laughs> What rubbish! That's an insult on my person. Stay. I will not do that. I can't. Mom, will you stop? Listen to yourself. Do you have a conscience at all? We're talking about your son's life. I mean, after all, you caused the whole thing. Yes, you did. Instead of putting hands together with us to know what to do, you, you, you're worsening the situation. Don't you want to carry your own grandchild? I ask you. Don't you want to carry your own grandchild? Grandchild. I don't care. <sighs> What? Yes. Mama. Honey, do you hear that? Mom. Mom. Hey baby. What's up my mom? I thought you said she's going with us. Yes, she is. No. I'll go and check up on her and see if she's ready. Oh, okay. I don't know why Eric is insisting I must go with him to order some stuff. Mama, we are ready. Let's go.
I forgive you. Yes. I forgive you not because of you, nor your mother. Because the both of you do not deserve forgiveness. I forgive you because of your innocent wife, who's just a victim of your evil plot. And so today I say that I retrieve every evil curse that I have laid on you. I hope that God bless you with a bit of a walk and grant you her desires. Amen. May God bless your home. I am finished. My husband's people are planning to take everything we've labored for, leaving me with nothing. What? No. That is not going to happen. Calm down. Huh? Stop crying. Okay. I won't let it happen. Okay? I have a solution. Really? Yes, I do. Okay. Have you forgotten how my husband's people try doing this same thing to me? When I lost my husband, are you not surprised how I was able to put you? I showed them paper now. I remember. That's why I come to you for solution. So don't worry. Hmm? Calm down. Dry your tears. Don't dry these tears. Hmm? Okay. I will let. Tomorrow I shall take you to a friend. Everything will be settled. Okay? Okay. Okay. Let me drop you off. Are you with a car? No. Oh, yeah. Enter. Let me so, the next day, she took me to Ezewani. Ezewani said I will be initiated into a fraternity. I didn't have an option. So, initially I was scared. But, because I know what I was into, I accepted. They helped me. Want my family, my husband's family back. But after the initiation, they said everyone has a price. I, and my own price is to leave, never to have a grandchild. Jesus. Because we have an option. I, I accepted. Point. I couldn't go back. So that was when we you brought Modesta. She was already pregnant. I, I didn't want to marry her. I tried to play the child before the child was born. So when I couldn't kill the child, is it one you warned me? Oh, 
never to have a contact with a child. Because they do not want to die. That's why I feel this way. I don't want to kill them. Please. I, I don't want to die. Help me. Oh. Faithful. He never sleeps nor slumber. Children of God, it is time to pray. Let us pray. Let me, let me love you 